Ahoy, fellas! Today we are going to a secret cave! Not that we've already... Well, not that we haven't already been here before. Anyways, hey, how's it going, huh? Yeah. Belongs to the dead? Well, I've died quite a lot, let me tell ya. Only those who wear ceremonial garb. Okay, I remember that now. Let's go put something red on, then. Just because... I actually did do this in the last episode, and I completely forgot that I did this in the last episode. <laughs> I remember now, of course, now that I'm actually talking about it. But, uh, yeah, we're putting red on today. We're trying on... We're gonna try every single ball combination. I'm not actually gonna do that, but, you know, there's... Wouldn't it be funny if there was an achievement for doing that? Should I even, like worry about... I wonder if there's a, uh... I wonder if there is... a, uh, a specific... like, uh... maybe it's creepy red. Wouldn't that be interesting? I like how... Firefly... I think it might just be red. Let's say red. Red's a good bet. Maybe bling red. I do wonder about these. Because, again... Ruby! Ah! Do ya, do ya, do ya, do ya. Ah! You know what you're doing, doing to me. I really hope that didn't make any sense at all, because... I mean... It would make a lot of sense if that didn't actually make any sense at all. I'm really hoping this is another just, hey, go be red, you know? <laughs> okay. Fine. Ruby isn't red enough. I have to just be red. Uh, speaking of red, I'm going to talk about something that isn't actually at all related to the color red while I do this. So, I live with three other people, right? And I'm going to open this up by uh, attempting to be moderately fair with it, in that I was concerned that living with three other people and sharing uh, a fridge and all that, that I would make food and then put it in the fridge and then someone might eat it. That hasn't happened, so I'm honestly really grateful to my roommates for not eating my food. But there's also kind of the flip side of that extreme, where we're not allowed at all to touch other people's food that they've bought, like including raw materials and general things and stuff that takes up a lot of space in the fridge. I want to say the only thing that these guys want to share with me is beers, and I'm 19, so... <laughs> Your crimson ball identifies you as one of us. Alright, cool. Nice, I can go through here. What's this say? Contained within this prism are the demented spirits of our darkest ancestors. Oh, boy. <laughs> Eternal torments that were born with that tragedy. Why would I release you? Seems like every mission... <laughs> every mission we have is like, hey, help this group of people that wants to destroy the island. <laughs> now, now that we're done with... Um, 46, do I just have to die 46 times or something? I don't want to fall 46 times. Legitimately, this kind of sucks a little bit. Oh well. It'll happen. It'll happen eventually. We found it. We found the quest. Which means that I can move on to something else. Something else entirely. But, back to my roommates, right? I don't dislike them. And this, the fridge isn't as chock full of beers to the point of, like, covering a lot of the space in the fridge as it used to be. So, you know, I don't actually really have a problem with the space in the fridge when I actually look in the fridge and look at how much space there is. There's a good amount of space, you know. So, uh, it, it kind of comes down more to just me finding, you know, that it's not even really that I... Uh, kind of got called out for something. Not really, but it was just stupid mumbo jumbo garbage. Because again, I'm talking about like stuff that takes up a bit of space in the fridge. 
And well, did I never go down there? No, evidently I did. It's not a difficult place to get to either. So, like week one, and we already have like two cartons of 18 eggs in the fridge. And I, I'm used to maybe having one carton of 18 eggs in the fridge. So having two cartons of 18 eggs in the fridge seems a bit excessive. Um, but you know, that's just you know, well, you know, that's just how it is. You know, you gotta, you gotta. Uh, one carton for one guy, and then the other carton for the other guy that bought eggs, you know? Well, I mean, the problem is, is that that already takes up like half a shelf. Is now devoted to eggs, right? And then if I and the other roommate want eggs, then we have to go get our own cartons of eggs. I'm pretty sure we did. He got a six and I got a twelve, so they're not the thirty-six packs of eggs. You know, 18 carton, carton of 18 eggs, you know, but I still had to go buy my own eggs, which I don't dislike. I would have bought the eggs anyways. I'm going to harp on that point a bit longer. I would have bought eggs and other things that I actually use anyways, because I use them. But, oh boy, I asked one of my roommates that bought eggs uh, a couple days ago. I asked him if I could use one or two of his eggs for breakfast and all that jazz. And I guess I didn't... I wasn't careful enough in saying that this would be kind of a repeated thing. <laughs> so today, I wake up, I make eggs, you know, because I eat eggs and bacon because I decided that cereal has too much corn in it and I am not livestock. So, you know, <laughs> I, uh, that's, that's kind of the long and short of it. I decided that I would eat bacon and eggs for breakfast instead of cereal. I don't know if it's actually all that much better, to be honest, because I, I want to say I'm intaking less fluids, and I'm probably intaking less, I don't actually know about calories, but I mean, it feels like less, and it's it's more time-consuming for sure. But hey, I like it. I like eggs. I like bacon. I eat. I cook. I eat. I eat what I cook. All that jazz, you know. It's a good time. It's a jolly good time. So, anyways, I come home and this guy's kind of standing there. He says, "Hey, you know what? How about a?" Uh, New house rule, right? Just um, don't don't eat any of the stuff you haven't you didn't buy. Like, <laughs> I, I I honestly uh, I don't need to cut into this guy, but it, I feel like there are a lot of ways to make a situation like that real funny. And the bridge is still out. Cool. I love that the bridge is out, especially after I just did that. Here's what we do, right? That wasn't actually any better. That was kind of better, actually. <laughs> um, and it, it, I'm gonna actually hold on. He he he, he made a, he made a kind of list of things, right? And uh, upon further inspection, the list is formatted in a way that is entirely beneficial to him, right? You're saying like. Uh, Spices and cheese and stuff, and um, <laughs> but just you know, the normal things. Just you know, don't don't. I guess use any food. How the heck do I get up to this place? Okay, that kind of sucks. Hold on, I gotta go. I gotta backtrack a bit and then go up to this section. All right, not terrible, but a bit sucky. Um, and, uh, you know, I mentioned cheese. I bought... Okay, this actually does suck a lot. It wasn't terrible, never mind. It's fine. I bought some cheese sticks the other day. 
I didn't even open them. They were open the first time I wanted to. I went to grab one. And you know, the only person I've ever seen go for a cheese stick. <laughs> it's Mr. Don't Touch Other People's Food. Hmm. You know. So you know. But hey, it's it's fine. You know, cheese was on that list of things that we can you know use that other people bought. It's, it's perfectly fine. Again, I honestly like these guys because they didn't. They haven't stolen it. They haven't like taken any of the food that I like made and prepared for myself to eat throughout the week because I do that. But sheesh, because he he even said like ask, and I guess he forgot that I did ask. But again, I might have I might not have really made it clear that I wanted to repeatedly use eggs for breakfast. I hate this freaking swing. I think, I, I really think that might be the case. You know what I should do here? I don't think I'm gonna make it like that. Uh, if I have a better angle though, I might. That might make it. Ooh, okay. Big brain play. Just completely ignore everything. But, yeah, I'm gonna continue to use eggs. It won't be his eggs. It'll be my own eggs, because I bought my own cart of 12 eggs. But we now have, like, huh? Anyways, we now have an, basically an entire shelf dedicated to cartons of eggs. And that kind of rubs me the wrong way, but hey, again, there's, there's enough space in the fridge, so I don't know how much I really care. It's just kind of wacky, you know. Oh, I was not expecting that. Some, for whatever reason, I had the expectation to have to use the slug to get up the wall. For no real reason. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I was talking with some of my friends, though, about... <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if I just went and bought a bunch of, like kind of unnecessary food just to fill the fridge. Just enough to completely fill the fridge with my own food, right? And then if anybody says anything, just be like, yeah, well, just don't, you know, just don't touch food because you didn't buy it, you know? And that's extremely petty, but I'm also extremely petty, so it, it works out. It checks out. I don't know how to get up this place. I don't remember how to leave anymore. Here we go. Okay, I see. Are there... There is a slug thing at the very top, which is going to suck a little bit. Especially since I'm on the left right now, and every single thing is a circle in this game. There we go. Okay. Alrighty then. Hey, it's Kickback, the most useful freaking fella here. Totally, definitely the case. I still dislike Kickback for letting me fall. And also for kind of like almost destroying the island, but you know, that's to be expected. It's just the way that it goes sometimes. You do what you gotta. Eesh. Can I even hit this freaking... There we go. How do I get there? I think that's a... There we are! And now, I just need to get the heck out of here. Before this guy explodes. Okay, well, that's fine. This is perfectly fine. This might actually make it easier, because I just have to do this, and this. I'm a moron. Wow, I'm stupid. Alright, let's just completely ignore that that happened. That, uh, hey, it's the first time I've been here. What the heck is this place? <laughs> okay. And here we go. I think... This should be fine. Now, oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Now I just gotta get the heck out of here, because I don't actually... Basically every other wickerling 
He's in this one massive area that I hate. <laughs> uh, jeez. But, yeah. Fun times. Again, I don't dislike my roommates. They don't take the food that I prepared. But as, as far as, like, raw ingredients, if you get, like, a freaking pound of chicken breast, I'm not going to take it without saying anything. It, I mean, it's, it's a, it's, it, it gets down to a maybe if you get a pound of chicken breast and then leave it for, like, a week and a half. And I'm like, okay, the chicken breast is either mine or it's rotten. So, <laughs> maybe a bit of both. <laughs> So you know what, it's like, I don't know, there's a lot of food in our fridge that just kind of sits where it is, and I don't trust it as actual, like, I'm not going to die if I eat this kind of food, but, you know, I, uh, I kind of eat anything, so, you know what, I'm gonna end the episode there. <laughs> if, uh, on the next episode. We're going to be picking up the last little bit of Wickerlings, and I might even hatch the God Egg. That might happen, because I'm pretty sure I only, for one, I only have four more Wickerlings. Two of them are right here, so the rest might be up here somewhere. There's one. I'm sure the other one is somewhere. There's the other one. I have no idea how to get that. We'll find out on the next episode of Yoku's Island Express. Till then, like, comment, and subscribe, or I will take all of your eggs. <laughs> Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.